Hey guys, how you doing? Come on in. Welcome to the Terry Crews office. Welcome. Actor, comedian, and former football player Terry Crews spends most of his time at his main residence located in East Pasadena, California. The sprawling mansion is home to him, his wife, and their five kids, and it features nearly 5,000 square feet of space and other luxury add-ons. When he's not hanging out there, Terry likes to tap into his creative side at his loft space in downtown Los Angeles, and this apartment doubles as an office and as an escape for him. Today we'll check out a few of Terry's properties past and present, we even found the listings. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Terrence Allen Cruz is an actor, comedian, activist, former pro football player and more who you've definitely seen in many films and TV shows and he's likely made you laugh. Terry played Julius Rock on the sitcom Everybody Hates Chris and I always remember his role in the movie White Chicks. He also hosted the US version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, starred on the BET reality show The Family Cruise, and appeared in a handful of other movies. Not to mention since 2013, Terry has been playing Terry Jeffords in the sitcom Brooklyn Nine-Nine and began hosting America's Got Talent in 2019. Prior to his success in the entertainment industry, Cruise played in the NFL for the Los Angeles Rams, San Diego Chargers, and the Washington Redskins. But behind the brawn and laughs is also an artist. Terry, who hails from Flint, Michigan, got his first big break after high school with an art scholarship, a passion he continued to keep as part of his life. He has a background as an illustrator as well, and in more recent times, he established a design company creating furnishings called Amen and Amen. That makes me think that Terry definitely has some nice and thoughtfully decorated properties. As you can see, he's a busy man and at home he has a big family, so it makes sense that he needs an extra office space to escape to and do some work in private. At the time of this recording, Terry has earned himself an impressive and well-deserved net worth of $20 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently but we're the original source for celebrity house tours so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to take a look at comedian, actor and man of many hats Terry Crews and where he calls home including his main house in Pasadena, some of his other properties and more. As always don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. So it seems that Terry has always had an interest in the Pasadena area of Los Angeles as one of his smaller former homes was located there too. Pasadena is an area in California located northeast of downtown LA and in the center, all Pasadena is known for being a shopping and dining district featuring Victorian and art deco buildings. I'm not quite sure when Terry lived at this home but we can assume it was a while ago considering how unassuming it is compared to his current place. This house was a simple, one-story brick-faced traditional situated in a popular Pasadena neighborhood. It was humble, spanning 1,939 square feet of space with three beds and two baths inside. There was a spacious living room with fireplace and French doors opening to the brick porch outside, while the kitchen had good-looking stainless steel appliances, even if the listing photos are a bit dated. Another family room here offered exposed beam ceilings, another fireplace, and opened up to the rear deck, while nearby there was even a cozy office nook. The formal dining room in this house also had doors to the outdoor space and there was a den with built-in bookshelves as well as a closet that could be used as a fourth bedroom. The charming house also had another space that was set up as a sitting area with skylights and more beam ceilings, also with a fireplace, but it could be turned into anything from a games room to a workshop. From photos we can see the house had an open floor plan for the most part and bonus rooms along the way including a bright double level space attached to one of the decks. The deck here was painted in a bold red wood and the grounds featured some landscaped gardens and lawns. While the home doesn't seem like it fits celebrity standards, it would have been a good starter home for Terry back in the day. It's said that Terry still lives in Pasadena with his family, but these days he's set up in a bigger, better mansion. According to reports, the actor and comedian lives at this sprawling East Pasadena home that looks like a tropical oasis located in the Kineola Mesa area. It's not sure whether he rents the home or purchases it, but listing materials claim it was bought back in 2008 for about $2.3 million and is now valued at nearly a million dollars more. 
Spanning 4,390 square feet inside with five beds and 3.5 baths, there's enough space for Terry, his wife, and their five kids at this luxury residence. The mansion sits on a fully gated lot spanning over an acre of land with amenities like a large in-ground pool and spa surrounded by sun loungers and even a full tennis court. The property also has a massive covered patio space to entertain guests or have a big family meal outdoors, while elsewhere there's a huge grilling station overlooking the hills with an outdoor kitchen. Since one spa wasn't enough, listing photos also show an indoor jacuzzi room with a hot tub large enough to host a group of people. All of the grounds overlook a amazing views of the rolling hills and have greenery and walls for privacy. Inside Terry's mansion, once you travel up the large stone steps outside, walking in the door there's a foyer with soaring ceilings, marble floors, and a winding staircase with chandelier overhead. Common rooms such as a family room with fireplace offer hardwood flooring, while the kitchen features marble. The kitchen has a large work island and a ton of windows to take in the views, along with stainless steel appliances and bar seating. Also on this level of the mansion there's a billiards room with bar and some additional public rooms like the dining space and living area. A bedroom that looks to be the master suite has a full wall of glass doors that open right up to sunny views and a long balcony, while many of the guest suites also have private terraces. While the photos of Terry's mansion from the time of the listing seem a bit old, we can assume that since moving in, he and his family have upgraded and modernized the place, especially considering his love for design. While it's said that the Pasadena house is Terry's main residence, it's also reported that he owns this property too. Located in Santa Clarita, California, a city north of Los Angeles, this area is known for the Six Flags theme park and is located a bit further out than Burbank. Listing materials claim the home was last sold in 2015 and has since increased in value to over $1.7 million. It could be a secondary property for Terry and his family to live at or an investment. Either way, the place might not look as large as the other mansion we just looked at, but inside it's actually over 5,000 square feet with an extra single level guest house in the property. The lot spans over an acre of land and the main house has six bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, and features like a family room with built-in bar and fireplace. Located in the Robinson Ranch golf course community, there's a ton ton of privacy in this exclusive gated neighborhood as well. At the time of purchase, the home looked like it was in need of some upgrades since the interior design was a bit undesirable. However, I'm sure with Terry's creativity, he easily made the spacious home even nicer. There was a beautiful large wooden front door and a classy staircase to one side, also with double height ceilings and an old world feel. The spacious common areas include a large family room, a formal living room and more, most of which had carpeting at the time. Some of the bathrooms looked like they needed to be modernized, but I think I would keep the small bathroom with the dolphin painting on the wall. Other features in this home include a home theater, games room on the upper level, huge master suite with balcony, and a sprawling lawn that led to the separate pool yard. There was also a cabana beside the saltwater pool and spa, as well as a waterfall, outdoor shower, and more. The guest house here even has a bathroom and kitchenette. In 2019, Terry opened up the doors of his office space in downtown Los Angeles for Architectural Digest. While it's not his main residence, it isn't just an office space, it's actually a full out high rise apartment in the city. It's his artistic escape and where he goes to get some solitude, saying, I come here and it seems to be so much quieter being above the city. The loft is where he goes to get inspired and work on his contemporary furniture collection. And the space is full of art that speaks to him, his career memorabilia, and his beloved library. Terry loves to read and has a wall full of books on art, design, and fashion. Since it is a full apartment, there's a large bedroom where Terry says he and the family occasionally crash when they're staying in the downtown center. The open living space overlooks some killer city views with full walls of windows and a TV and a sectional to make things comfortable. Feet. Of course, there's also a kitchen, and there's even a hidden bed that comes out from behind some of the bookshelves, which Terry says are where his kids stay. While showing off the panoramic views, Terry said, I'm a big view guy. There's even a sign out there that says Jesus saves. You feel like you're in heaven. And with that, I think we'll bring our Terry Crews house tour to an end. We got to check out some of his homes, including his current mansion in Pasadena, his other property, as well as his downtown LA office space. After seeing where Terry lives, what did you guys think? I think that updated photos would have done his current residences more justice, but from what we could see, his homes look like they're full of all the luxury amenities you could want. Which of Terry's homes did you prefer, or did you like his downtown LA office space best? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!